Mm. Hey friends. Hmm. I'm coming to you from Phoenix, where I'm currently on a layover on my way to New York City, where the current plan is to be there for at least the next three months. Uh, and um, yeah, I want to record this video for my future self, so I'm going to set this to release on May 1st. Hmm. The other day, Michelle showed me uh, some of Mr. Beast's videos that he does that are like this, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's good, and that's some nice time magic, and I was chewing on doing something similar, and then today, uh, Loopy, Strangest Loop on Twitter, said, uh, for some reason, I want to ask you to write a message on this day one of New York City that you read back to yourself on the final day, and uh, I was like, oh, I'll do you one better. I'll make a video that'll be released on that day, and... Um, Mm. So I guess this is for me and my future self. Mm. It's a big day. If I'm right about this uh, run, this level of the game, everything's going to be different on May 1st. For me and my consciousness, for me and my friends and the service guild, and uh, also for the world. A friend of mine said to me maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, that the next 90 days are going to be the most significant period in human history. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, I plan to be in New York City for three months. <clears throat> I'm an optimist, so I think God is good. And uh, I'm sure things are going to change a lot, like a lot on every level. Sorry, it's so loud here. I wish I could find a quieter space, but this is where we at. <laughs> that metaphor of like a run of a video game is like Hades. Anansi turned me on to that. Thank you, brother. That's like the latest meta with one T to the Pilgrim game. It's like looking at a stay as a run. Um, you got specific goals for each run. So I actually wrote some quest goals for this run in New York City. <clears throat> First one, there's six goals. One, go hard. Give everything I can every day. Maximum energy, vigor. Rest as needed to go harder when I can. Grow capacity. Two, this is related to my the impetus for my journey, which is to take an EDM course at Fractal. Learn EDM basics, music production. Feel comfortable in Ableton. Establish foundation for musical skill set. Three, say yes, swipe right. Meet as many people as possible. Develop friendships with Zen and other existing friends and allies. Make new friends and allies through Fractal and other opportunities. Try new things. Four, maintain and grow the momentum of the service guild. Step into the guild master role. Five, tell people about my Patreon goal, my life's work, and the guild at every opportunity. Finish strong with 3,000 a month and a meta dance party in New York. Six, stay sane, keep calm, have fun. Enjoy every day. Help people in this precious chapter of our history. You know, my writing is for myself first and foremost, and then it's for other people who it might resonate with. And I'm grateful for the words that my past self wrote about this, that he's sending to me now on this day and that I'll be holding with me during this time. Mm. It's like a spell, you know? This is already completed. This video is already launching. Um,
It's already done. It's done. Time is weirder than we think it is. Uh, and now I just get to enjoy. Like, if it was a novel, I get to see what happens to the protagonist now. Um, and it's not going to be as planned, you know? Like, I might not even be in New York on May 1st. I hope so. I currently hope that B.I. and I will plan a meta dance party somewhere in New York City for May 1st, but maybe it'll be the second or the third or the sixth or something. Maybe the world will change so dramatically we can't even run one. I don't know. Um, it's hard to know. It's hard to know. Ooh. I remember um, once on a very significant acid trip to me uh, that that message came through, which is currently my favorite treat. Um, we are the universe trying to understand itself trying to love itself. I choose to believe that people are fundamentally good. I choose to believe that the universe is fundamentally good. All there is to do is to be present and loving in this moment for the rest of my life. So even as things change and the world becomes very different and you know, it might even get bumpy, choppy, chaotic. Uh, the only thing to do is to be present and loving in this moment, in this moment. If you are who you think you are, <clears throat> and uh, the world is in the chapter that it seems to you to be in, then uh, hmm, it's gonna be a wild ride, my friend, wild ride. You're gonna learn a lot. You're already learning so much and this is gonna be like rocket fuel for you. Uh, you can see, you already see everybody as a teacher. So every interaction is the teaching. And New York is like, I mean, I'm so glad I had Daniel on my podcast, Daniel Gallagher. Like one of the biggest updates from that was just like, you can, I, I don't know if he put it quite this way, but what I got was like, you can pretty usefully see New York as the capital of the world. And um, we're trying to come together as a globe, as far as I can tell, as a species and also a planet. And New York is where the party <laughs> is gonna get started, at least for this guy. Um, it's funny, I used to hate New York, especially Manhattan, and I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of this trip I really love New York, um, which would be great. Sorry to my past self which didn't like New York. I don't really like noise, as you can tell, it's like hard here, a lot of stimulation, but um, maybe that won't be as much of a problem in three months. Maybe I'll be chill with that. Um, maybe I'll flow with the chaos. Maybe group stuff won't be as overwhelming. You know, I've got that update about how to approach group stuff, you know, really staying connected to my wants and my desires making bids for them, acting on them. You're gonna get a lot of practice with that. And also this whole, like one of the bottlenecks right now in the, in the Tashin system is your okayness with, are you okay with people being upset at you or angry at you or disagreeing with you? Like you're more willing right now to state your mind and express yourself and show up in the way that seems good to you. And that's great, you're more authentic you're more, and that makes you happier. But there's still that, that fear of other people being angry and the, the emotional system hasn't made the update. And New York's a good training ground for that, uh, I feel like. I feel like it's a good, good place to sort that one out for you, T. I and mean, probably that's gonna be a theme for your whole life, honestly, but anger and working with anger and whatever, but let's, let's bite off a big chunk of that karma. If you play your cards right, people are just gonna get pissed at you. They're gonna be very upset and confused and not like you and not agree with you. And that's okay. That's okay, bud. It's all right. God loves you, man. God loves all of us. And uh, Solon said you can't decide whether a man is happy until after he died. You can't really weigh the significance of someone's vow until after they died. 
and I think your life is going to speak for itself, T. And you get to experience it. You're the one who gets to read this novel right there in the front lines, and it's a good one. Ooh, I can feel it right on the surface, this sadness, this fear of anger, the momentousness of this day. Like, it's exciting and terrifying and... Ooh. Mm. That little boy inside you would be proud. He'd say you're a good man. You need to remember that. You need to keep that in your heart. That's the love you need to keep in your heart. That and God's love. Because, you know, you can't go wrong. Just don't intentionally try to hurt people and be open to learning and growing and try your best. Try your best. Moment after moment, day after day. You have a good heart, T. You have a good heart. It's a real good heart. And there's so many gifts that just want to pour out of you for the benefit of this world and these beings on this planet, your friends, your family, communities. There's, <laughs> the more I go down this, like the weirder it gets. Like, I just started in OnlyFans. I, I swear to God, I didn't see that coming. There's gonna be more shit like that where it's like, all right, I guess we're making a hard turn left here. Um, that's why I'm like, yeah, I might not be a nerd. I might not be alive in a few months, and that's okay. Uh, just if you're my friend and I died, then send Meta. It's good. I lived my fullest life, I'm sure. Um, but God willing, I'll be alive and kicking and partying. <laughs> Up there is literally a Meta dance party on the day this gets released. And maybe I'll even play my own music in it. Jeez, I'm supposed to finish, I think, three tracks during this course and... Why not? Play my own music? Celebrate it at the party. We'll see, we'll see, but... You know that you're entering the heavenly realm if your life feels like a party. Moment after moment, encounter after encounter, exchange after exchange. It's really been feeling like that. It's really been feeling like that these past few weeks. <clears throat> My God is good. My God is good. And I hope it keeps feeling like that for you, T. I hope, I hope you're protected by yourself and your friends, your guides, God, even New York itself. It's a prayer to New York and its spirit to my friends within it, current and future, to my allies around the world, my loved ones, my guides in other realms, to God, please protect T. He's going to give everything he has to live his life, his vow fully. He's going to give everything he has to be of benefit in the way that seems to be pouring out of him. Please protect him. Please take care of him. It's gonna be a wild ride! Wild ride! Let's go. Let's go. I hope that on this day there's a meta dance party or one scheduled right soon. I hope I'm alive and the world is well at peace. That it's in a different but better place on the whole. Not just for humans, but for plants and animals and the earth itself. I hope that people are happier, that things are more honest, that we're honest with ourselves about what's not working. I hope that the changes in technology are a net benefit rather than a harm. I hope we keep our cool, you know? We don't need more war or more conflict. Uh, we need love, we need love. Love is the answer. And um, for myself, I really hope and pray that you get that $3,000 a month on your Patreon. Uh, it's okay if that doesn't happen. Your, your deal is tell people about it. Tell every person you meet about it. Don't expect them to give. Just say, this is what I'm doing. Here's why. Here's why I care about it. As of today, it's like nearly $1,100 a month that you have on your Patreon. Um, so that's, you know, $1,900 a month to raise. Um, so 
$24,000 a year, a bit under that, which is, you know, two people giving a thousand a month or four people giving 500 or eight giving 250, 16 giving 125, <clears throat> 32 giving 62.5, 64 giving, say, $30 a month. Hmm. People giving $10 a month, $5, $1. It's all good. Um, you know, I've never really worked out how to say this since I've lived on generosity, but I see myself as the gift. Like, my time is a gift. My energy is a gift. My skills is a gift. I give that all every single day. And whether you make it or not, like, you know in your heart, $36,000 a year is, is, you're worthy of that, T. Um, you're giving it all, and this, it's just, the thing is, it's a weird, illegible way that you made up for yourself. But so many people are being benefited already from your work and from the guild. You've built this organization. It's happening. Uh, And you having your own personal expenses covered is going to be the basis for the guild's flourishing. Oh man, the guild is going to be very different in three months even. Um, I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody loves what they're doing. Um, if it's not working for you, I hope you part in peace. And I, I don't have any reason to expect that right now, but that's always an option. And otherwise, I hope you're just like, yeah, this is good. I love doing this. This is really good. This is the best thing. Um, that's what it feels like for me, and that's what I want for you if you're collaborating with me. I hope we're so proud of the work we're doing together. All, you know, we've been playing our cards and putting all the pieces in place, the conditions, establishing them, the seeds, the soil. And now is when it's blossoming. It's really blossoming. Um, there's a lot of world-changing organizations and a lot of leaders who are doing good things. We're just one piece of the puzzle, but... We're given our peace and in some ways I'm coming to New York today to tell the world about what we're doing at the Service Guild and uh, I think they will have heard by now in really important, meaningful ways. Uh, love, curiosity, and empowerment. You know, I don't really know what my timelines are right now for being able to accept other departments into the Service Guild, but maybe we'll even be there on May 1st. I don't know. Things can move very fast. That's that's a message you gotta keep in your heart that at every scale, things can move very, 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 very fast. And as long as you're loving and present and kind to yourself and others, it's gonna go well. Oh, there's nothing really really to fear. I mean, even death, it's gonna be okay. It's, it's always gonna happen. You're always gonna die. Somebody getting angry at you? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> uh, how many people have been angry at me? And, it's okay. It's okay. I'm still here. Life is still good. God's still good. Elise will still love you. Your mom will still love you. Nancy will still love you. Harrison will still love you. Sylvia will still love you. All your friends will still love you. The real ones. So yeah, you fucked up. That's fine. Learn from it. That's what we do, kid. Why do we fall, Bruce, so we can get back up? It's big. It's big. I don't know. Have fun. Have fun. Have a good time. This is training. It's training. It's a responsibility period. And I don't, I don't honestly, I don't wake up here. Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? But I could be enlightened. I mean, I think that's a whole just like sequence of stages rather than the thing is done. But I wouldn't be surprised if you're a lot wiser in a few months, T. That'd be good. Wisdom, love, and power. May we grow in wisdom, love, and power for every day of our lives. That's the deal. That's why we're worthy of the power that we have. Because we're wise and loving. You know that, T, in your heart. You're worthy of it today, and you'll be worthy of it on May 1st. And you should be more and more worthy of it. Hmm. I'm thinking about growing my hair out and my beard. I feel like um, that'd be good. So let's do that. Why not? It's been a while since I did that, but 
And when I had my hair long, I didn't have a beard. But I think being a little scraggly is good. It's like, we're gonna be fun professional. Fun professional. This is a little uneven, it's a little rough, it's a little raw, it's a little weird, it's a little out there. That's part of the deal. This is not polished, this is not perfect. God forbid me if I ever claim that. Forgive me, but yeah, Freudian slip forbid me. Hmm. The people who understand are gonna just understand, they're gonna say yes. It's like Danielle, I mean, she's been such a blessing and she, she just gets it. She knows you, she knows where you come from, she knows where you're going, she's like, yes, I'm on your team. And um, the people who get it, just get it. And if they're 20 minutes deep into this video and they don't get it, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You don't owe those people anything. You don't owe some imagined people that are angry at you anything. You just, you owe yourself your fullest life. Nothing held back. And that's paradoxically the same thing the world is asking of you. So let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go, T. Let's go. Get on that plane. Go hard every day. You love that. You know, you love that. Just rolling up your sleeves and going for it. So let's let's do that the pace of learning has been so fast recently and the change and the growth and everything's been net positive I mean I know there's bumps and this and that and whatever but it's net positive God is good so let's go let's really go if you're in the thick of the world that's the same as being the thick of the cabin or a tree God is there to look you back in the eye wherever you are. So, feel this like heaviness, this sadness, this weight. And uh, it's because it's three months of time of this level of intensity at this chapter, it's it's heavy, but, um, but it's fun, it's light. I mean, you're gonna have such a great time. The people that you're gonna spend time with are gonna be, you know, they're already your friends or you're gonna make new friends and God, I love that for me. There's gonna be new allies, people that wanna help you, people you wanna help. Things you can't even imagine. Wow, I'm excited for those. The things, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see any of this coming. I never planned this. You just put the conditions in place and you go for it, so. Yeah, let's go get a burger and uh, eat some food, take care of yourself, and uh, have fun. I love you, Tashin, very much. Thank you to everyone in New York who took care of me and loved me during this time, helped me, believed in me. If you're at this party, thanks for coming, and uh, let's have some fun for the benefit of ourselves and all beings alongside us. Let's live our vows and let that be a celebration. Amen.